Welcome to SNN, the Stinky News Network. I'm with Stinkington. Tonight, we have Samantha Snake with a special report. Now, Samantha, is it true that some animals can smell with body parts other than their nose? Certainly. The nose isn't the only game in town when it comes to smell. <laughs> so you're telling me you could smell with your feet? Well, with I'm a snake, I don't have feet. But let's investigate. Mm, this one smells just right. Did I hear you correctly? You sure did. I have scent detectors in my feet. Why do you smell with your feet instead of your nose? Because I lay my eggs on the underside of leaves. When they hatch, my babies will eat the leaf. I need to know that the leaf is safe for them to eat. I do that by smelling the leaves with my feet. Fascinating. Now with, this crab has no nose. A crab smells using sensors on those antennae that help it find things to eat. Like that algae. Now, here's something really amazing. That octopus doesn't have antennae, and I don't see a nose either. It uses its suckers to sniff out food and hold on to it. Aren't you glad you and I don't have to hold our food with our noses? Woo! Actually, I kind of do hold food with my nose, because snakes, like me, and lizards smell with our tongues. We've got scent receptors on them. See? When scent molecules float through the air and land on it, I can smell them. So if... There you have it. All of these animals have scent receptors in places that aren't their nose. But they still nose. <laughs> Got it? Wow. Some have antennae, others have suckers, and some have smelly feet. I mean feet that smell. Ooh. <laughs> smell ya later.